And what I was able to do is you register the radio on the internet and then on their website, Grace's... Okay, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm welcoming, welcoming myself back because I've been out of town for about a week. And boy, have I fallen behind. So I'm trying to catch up today. And one of the things that's been an outstanding request was to go back and show you how to add radio stations on this Grace Digital Wi-Fi radio. And this is the review I did of it. And I talked about, in general, adding stations. These are internet stations that are not on the Grace website. Because you go to the Grace website and they list hundreds and thousands of stations you can add to your radio. But they don't list all of them, of course. And there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet, such as international broadcast stations, scanner radios. And so today, I wanted to show you how to do that. So again, you can go back to this video, my show number 644, and uh, see about the radio itself and how it works and things like that. But today I'm going to show you how you would add a station from the internet, a radio station from the internet, to your Grace Radio. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to uh, go to the Grace website. And of course, when you first get the radio, you have to set up an account on the internet. And what you do is you go to Grace Digital and set up an account. Also, because I tried to use this website to do what I'm talking about today, and I couldn't get it to work correctly. Probably a user error. But this website, which is Grace, powered by R-E-C-I-V-A, Recuba, um, is much easier and it works with your radio so you register here just like what you did on the other one and you have to tell it your code that when you go to the settings on your radio it will give you a registration code so you have to give it that registration code when you sign up and then it knows what radio you have and consequently once you add station it will automatically transfer it to your radio. So that's how you get the information into your radio. So let's look at adding a station. Now one way you do it is this button here, add station. Or if you already have done this, you can go to manage my stuff and then it gives you three options of types of stations you can add. You can click on my stations and that will give you stations that are provided by Grace Digital. Or you can go to My Streams, which is where you add your own stations that you found. And that's what the question is about. How do you do that? Because it's not straightforward. And as a matter of fact, I struggled with it yesterday and I couldn't get it to work. So I had to contact my friend who showed me initially how to do it. And he showed me the key. There is a one key step that you must do in order to get this to work. And that's what I'm going to show you. So here we go. Let's go to my streams. And here's some streams I've added. You can add probably any amount that you want. And here was the one. Um, this is Louisiana Fire. Again, it's a scanner on the internet via radio reference website which I've talked about many, many times. And I tried to, to set it up, and I could not get it to work. It, it went through the motions. It shows up on my radio, but it will not connect. And the reason being is I don't have the right stream address. And let me show you the secret now. So you go to Radio Reference, and you should be familiar with this because I've showed you this station, I mean this website, many times. And let me get something for a second.
I had to get my <laughs> I had to get my notes. I'll admit it. I had to get my notes. Gosh, you know, when you get old, your memory is just shot. It's just no good anymore. Can't remember anything. So anyway, so you go to radioreference.com, and this is where you can find stations. Speci uh, not specifically, but mostly scanner radios that people have put on the internet and connected to this website so that you can listen to scanner radios throughout the world. Most of, most of them are in the United States. And so we can go to there. So we can go to Live Audio, Live Audio Home, and then we can pick a state. And I'm going to go back and try that Louisiana again. So I'll pick Louisiana. And then you could pick a county. I think this was the county that I was trying to get to work. So you click on that. And once you've done this, it's easy. But it's also easy to forget. Now, here is the key. So I've got two options down here. And I wanted to, to use the Klondike Fire. Here is the key. You've got to come over here and select Windows Media Player. Now, the next gate that you have to get through is instead of listening to it by clicking this arrow button, you with your left mouse button, you right click it, and then it gives you all these options. And the one you want is copy link address. That's the key, and that's the thing I had forgotten about yesterday. So I want to click on copy link address. So now it's in my computer's clipboard. Now I go back to this website, and I click on this one because I want to fix this one, and I'm going to paste in a new URL. And the key is is that has this ending dot a s x if you see that it should be correct now i'm going to save that now that should now send that to my radio my radio sitting here next to me on my desk now it may take a little bit but usually it doesn't take very long so uh, i'm matter of fact i'm going to rename it To fire one because I always ha already have LA fire which is on my radio but doesn't didn't work so I'm going to change the name of it so I'll know it's different so now I'm going to turn my radio on and I can say I don't know how long it takes usually it only takes a few minutes for it to find it and it hasn't found it yet I've still got um, what's marked LA Fire, which was the previous name, so it hasn't gotten it yet. So hopefully it'll get it pretty quick, so that I don't have to run this video too long. I don't know if there's a button to push to say update. I, I don't know of one. Okay, I'm still waiting. I'm gonna go back. I wish I could show you this, but I can't show you this. And okay, now it's there. So it didn't take very long. And it says LA Fire 1. So I'm going to select that. And we'll see if it uh, connects. That's connecting. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of activity. And it's playing. So that's the key. That is the key. And that's what I forgot about yesterday. And now I've got the gentleman who helped me's email so that I can go back to that next month when I forget how to do this. So that's that's the important thing to remember is that getting that address correct. And that address, in this case, that radio reference is you need to select the Windows Media Player. You need to right click and copy the link, take the link over to this website, and paste it in. Now I'll do a new one for you, and um, let's go back. Let's pick another, another state. So I'm going to go back, and I'm not going to use Louisiana. 
I'm going to pick uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. probably something up in New York. That would probably be busy. So go up in New York. I don't know counties in New York. Delaware. Okay, we'll pick Delaware. And here's the listing of two stations, uh, two scanners. One is, um, now another thing that will give you an indication of how active a scanner is by looking under listing listeners, and there's 11. So I'm going to select that. Again, I have to come over here and select Windows Media Player. When, that's easy for me to say. Windows Media Player. And I come over here and right click on this and I copy link address. So I got a new link address. And I will come over here and I'm going to add a new stream. So I click on new stream and I'm going to name it um, New York. To name it New York for now. Not very descriptive, but it's going to name it New York for now. And so that appears here. And then I paste in the URL, and then I can leave one. I can put a note in here if I want to. Um, testing for YouTube, and then I want to save that. And then once it's saved, within a certain amount of time, it will then show up on my radio. I'll go back, and I can see I can't. I'm in this screen capture mode, so I can't show you my radio. And in a few minutes, I should have a new entry called New York. And voila! And you can do this on other websites than um, radio reference. For instance, I uh, initially what I did is I did an internet search for China Radio. And then when I got to their website, there was a button to listen to China Radio on the Internet. And so I, again, I right-clicked that button. It gave me an address. I copied and pasted that address into this website using this format right here. Matter of fact, it's... Uh, I don't have that on it, but here's here's some other ones that I've added. Here's uh, Pinellas County, and I got that. This is where I got the initial process to do this, and that's why I say from Thomas because he sent me that link, and then I guess that's kind of why I I didn't write down how to do it, and then once I did that one the same day, I added all these other ones, and then I subsequently this was about two months ago. I subsequently forgot how to do it. So um, let me go back to my radio and see if the new one appears. Nope, it's not there yet. It, I can say I don't know um, I don't know how long it takes but usually it's just a few minutes for the new link to be stored and then it's available on your radio. So that's how that works. And I want to thank uh, my friend Thomas again for reminding me how to do this. And I hope uh, this explains it to the people that want to add these, I'll call them uh, non-grace data st or, or audio streams that are not on their website. Like I say, on their websites, they have tons of streams that you can add very easily. And you just, instead of uh, going down this page, you go add a station. And then you tell it to try to find, you, you ask it to find the station. Or if you have the URL, you can just do it this way. And you can also use this for search for stations that's in the GRACE database, which there's thousands of them, but it's not all of them because there's millions of them out there. So anyway, that's for the show for today. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.